Up until this trip, I had no idea the Colombian military owned a commercial airline. I didn't know Medellin had two airports, and I didn't know a 45 minute domestic flight could be that exciting, at least to me as an aviation geek it was. So today I want to take you along on a flight with Satena, dive a bit into the history of the airline, look at Medellin's little known Olaya Herrera airport, and share the breathtaking views over the city you could be enjoying when departing from this airport. I'm glad you've decided to join me, so let's get going. I just finished breakfast here in Medellin's gorgeous El Poblado neighborhood, and I'm about to head to the airport. My flight departs in only two hours, but that's no issue because Olaya Herrera Airport is just around five minutes by car from here. I honestly could have walked that. The airport is smacked right in the middle of the city and was Medellin's original airport, which opened all the way back in 1936. This is also why it's named after a 1930s Colombian president, Enrique Olaya Herrera. Unable to cope with rising demand for flights, it was replaced by the much larger Jose Maria Cordova International Airport, located some 20 kilometers outside the city. Olaya Herrera Airport was then closed from 1986 until 1991, when it was put back into operation for domestic flights. Its modernist terminal with Brazilian architectural influences was originally built all the way back in 1955 and designed by architects Elias Zapata Sierra, Apolinar Restrepo and Alfonso Vieira. Checking in for Satena was quick and easy, although the included checked luggage is always limited to 15 kilograms, so you'll have to pay for any extra weight at the airport. Unfortunately, I don't remember exactly how much it was, only that it was ridiculously little, like some low single-digit US dollar amount. Security was quick and easy as well, and even just strolling through this terminal. Wow, what a unique building. The airport is also quite weird in that they basically have only one boarding gate after which you just stroll through a park. In case it rains, you can borrow umbrellas, which is very thoughtful. You then wait outside with your fellow passengers until an airport employee guides you to your plane. Olaya Herrera Airport only handles small planes, limited to 50 seats, with the sole exception being Satena, which is allowed to use 70-seater ATR-72s. This will be our ride today, Hotel Kilo 4979, a 2000-built ATR-42-500. It was originally delivered to Eurowings and operated for Lufthansa. After a brief two-year stint for Lot Polish Airlines, Satena took on the aircraft in 2013. If this whole boarding process, by the way, seems a bit worrisome, rest assured they did check your ticket again upon entering the plane. Inside the ATR, you'll find the plane's classic 2-2 configuration, with the right-hand side seats all the way in the front facing each other. The aircraft is equipped with old Avio Interiors NV series seats, which offer fairly good legroom for someone like me who's 180 centimeters tall. They also come with a standard seat back pocket. Due to the design of the seats, you cannot stow any luggage beneath window side seats, unfortunately. The safety instructions can be found right in front of you on the back of the tray table. As we're getting ready for departure, I want to touch on what this airline actually is, because if you paid close attention, you might have noticed the plane has a second registration, Foxtrot Alpha Charlie 1191. That's because this one is a military registration, with FAC standing for Fuerza Aerospacial Colombiana, the Colombian Air Force. The number designates the category of aircraft, with 1001 through 1300 being designated as transport aircraft. Zatena, which stands for Servicio Aéreo de Territorios Nacionales, was established in 1962 and is majority owned by the Colombian government. The reason why the government runs its own airline is to offer better connectivity to less connected areas of the country, where other airlines might not want to fly to or would charge obscene prices. Being part of the country's military, it offers steep discounts to active and former military and government personnel. 
The airline currently operates a bunch of ATRs and Embraer 145s on a wide variety of domestic routes. Now we're ready for takeoff and I'll let you enjoy the gorgeous views over Medellin without any talking over them. Igualmente es prohibido manipular el detector de humo del barco. En preparación para el despegue, revise que su cinturón esté abrochado y ajustado. Levante el espaldar de la silla, asegure la mesa de servicio y abra la persiana de la ventanilla. Los teléfonos celulares. After this truly breathtaking climb out of Medellin, it's an easy 45 minute flight over to Bogota. Due to Colombia's mountainous terrain, getting around quickly is only really possible by plane as buses take forever and passenger rail transport isn't really a thing in Colombia. Zatena does not offer any service, so it's an uneventful rest of the flight until our descent into Bogota. At El Dorado International Airport, the airline uses the small terminal south of the big main terminal, which is called the Puente Aereo, meaning airlift or air bridge. The terminal is fairly small with short walking distances and a luggage arrived at the belt promptly. Considering that Satena isn't all that much more expensive than flying Avianca or Latam to Jose Maria Cordova International Airport, the time savings are just phenomenal. A small, quick to pass through terminal in the middle of Medellin, a quick flight and an easy to navigate terminal upon arrival, that's honestly the best way to travel between Medellin and Bogota for me. Although it needs to be underlined that Satena is not always the most reliable and punctual airline, so you're gambling just a tiny bit when choosing them. I would fly with them again though if I had the choice. 
With that, welcome to Bogota. Thank you very much for coming along today. Whether you are a paid sponsor of our channel, like all of these amazing people, a subscriber, or simply passing by for this one video, thank you very much for watching and coming along. I hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe so you won't miss our many upcoming videos. If you're down for another flight report, why not take a look at the video I shot getting to Medellin about Colombian low-cost carrier Viva Air, which unfortunately ceased operation just days after I flew with them. Thanks again and have a great rest of your day.